Hey everybody, how's it going? Tech Guy Charlie here and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a very interesting advanced hidden feature that was recently added to Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets. Now before we begin, if you enjoy watching these kind of videos then do make sure to subscribe to the channel because I've got plenty of tutorials on Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Oh and by the way guys, the wallpaper links are in the video description, you can download them from my Flickr account. Anyways, the hidden feature that I'm going to show you is called continue apps on other devices. This particular feature was added to Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets starting with One UI 3.1. Now it is actually an advanced feature so what we'll have to do is drop down the notification panel, go to settings, scroll down to advanced features, then tap on continue apps on other devices. And I'm calling this a hidden feature because not many people know that this exists on their Samsung smartphones. Let me explain how this feature works. So basically what this feature does is that it allows you to share the clipboard across all your Samsung devices that are signed into your Samsung account. So that means if I copy some text, image or something else on this phone, I will be able to paste it on my tablet or onto another Samsung phone. Let me demonstrate. So what we're going to do is go to the gallery. For example, I want to copy this photo. So tap on these three dots, copy to clipboard. Now on the tablet, say for example, I'm creating a note in Samsung notes. So new note. What I can do is long press and paste. And as you can see, that pastes the image that we copied on this phone. And this also works for text. So for example, I'll go into WhatsApp and copy something over here. And then I will be able to paste the same thing on the tablet just like this. Now this feature is bi-directional. So if I copy some text on the tablet, I will be able to paste it on the phone. So copy, so long press and paste. So there you go. That is the same text that we copied on the tablet. We are able to paste it on the phone. And lastly, this feature also synchronizes the application data between two Samsung devices. And that enables you to pick up where you left off on other device. So for example, I'm browsing a web page on my tablet and I have to go out. So I would like to open up the exact same web page on my phone so that I can continue reading this exact same article. With this feature, all you have to do is open up recents on your phone. Then you will see a new button over here which says from your tablet. Just tap on the button and the phone will open up the exact same web page that was already open on the tablet. So as you can see, it is the exact same web page. Now because this feature is bi-directional, it also works the other way around. So open up recents on the tablet and then you will see this icon on the bottom right hand side corner. Press on this and it will open up the Samsung internet web browser and it will take you to the exact same web page that is open on the phone. So there you go. And if you are wondering, yes, this feature also works between two Samsung phones. So open up recents and tap on from your phone. And once again, this will take us to the same web page that we were browsing on this phone. Also, at the time of filming this video, only two apps are supported, Samsung Internet and Samsung Notes. But here's the thing, it does not actually work for Samsung Notes. Let me demonstrate. So if I open up a note in Samsung Notes on this phone, it should automatically synchronize onto this phone. So what we are going to do is open up Recents and then tap on From Your Phone. And it kind of gets stuck over here, so it's not able to synchronize the application data. So unfortunately, the note synchronization thingy does not work, so you will have to manually do it. So the way to do this manually is by selecting your note, copy it over here, and then you will be able to paste it onto this phone. So not really a big deal, but yeah, that feature is kind of broken. But anywho, this is how the continue apps on other devices works on Samsung phones. I think this is an amazing feature and I see countless possibilities with continue apps on other devices, especially if Samsung decides to add more apps to the supported list. And lastly, for this feature to work, you will need to have Bluetooth turned on on both of your devices. Otherwise, it won't work. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, well, make sure to share the video and do subscribe to the channel for more content. And I do apologize for the shorter video for this week because I am working on some other projects and it has been a very busy week. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in another video.